everybody this is chapter 7 respiration in organisms class 7 and this is solution fill in the blanks lactic acid is produced during anaerobic respiration insects have organ called trachea for respiration third is taking in of air rich in oxygen is called inhalation question number four fill in the blanks an adult human being normally breathes from 14 to 20 times per minute. Fifth, the movement of lungs is controlled by the diaphragm and the rib cage. Sixth is hemoglobin acts as a respiratory carrier in our body. This is match the following. Lactic acid is uh, muscle cramps are due to lactic acid. Transpiration happens through stomata and hemoglobin is the respiratory carrier and pores on branches are lenticels and fermentation of yeast is alcohol now mcq respiration helps in obtaining energy stomata perform the body of uh, uh, perform the function of exchange of gases the process of the following equation glucose plus oxygen uh, liberation of carbon dioxide plus water and energy is aerobic respiration carbon dioxide is released it is aerobic respiration to survive plants root needs oxygen and earthworm and leeches respire through skin now let's move to the next question answer define respiration name the two types of respiration respiration is the name of general process in which living organisms convert sugars into biological energy using oxygen the two types of respiration are aerobic respiration and anaerobic respiration. Question number two, name the respiratory organ of the following. Crab, man, leech and an insect. Crab, the respiratory organs of crab is gills, man, lungs, leech, skin and insect trachea. Define transpiration. Transpiration is the process of loss of excess water from plants through open stomata. Question number four, define the term breathing rate. The number of times a person breathes per minute is termed as the breathing rate. Question number five, name the body organs which help lungs during the process of breathing. Rib cage and diaphragm help lungs during the process of breathing. Why do we need to breathe out carbon dioxide? High level of carbon dioxide in the body can be toxic and hence carbon dioxide needs to be removed. That's why we release carbon dioxide during exhalation. The E part answer the following question. Why do we get muscle cramps after heavy exercise? Human muscles can respire anaerobically. However, lactic acid is produced during this process and accumulates in the muscles. Because of this, the muscles cannot continue working for long. They get fatigued after some time causing muscle cramps. During heavy exercise, we need more energy but the supply of oxygen to produce energy is limited. Therefore, Anorbic respiration takes place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of the energy causing the cramps. Question number two, why does a potted plant die when overwatered? The cells in the roots of the plants also need oxygen to survive. They take in air from the air spaces present between the soil particles. When overwatered, the, the air spaces in the soil get occupied by water and this prevents the plant's roots from taking in air that they need therefore a potted plant dies if overwatered. question number three where are stomata found in a plant state their function stomata are found this is this should be found f o u n d found on the surface of leaves of a plant function of stomata uh, it helps in exchange of gases which gas oxygen and carbon dioxide loss of excess amount of water in the form of water vapor that is transpiration question number four how is oxygen transported from lungs to the other parts of the body the blood while passing through the lungs picks up oxygen with the help of hemoglobin which transports oxygen to different parts of the body oxygen is transported from lungs to the other parts of the body with the help of hemoglobin hemoglobin thus acts as a respiratory carrier in our body question number five draw a neat well level diagram of the human respiratory system 
and this is page number 108 this is the respiratory system of our body so nasal passage oral cavity pharynx larynx trachea bronchi lung heart and this is ribs now question number six describe an activity to show that uh, that uh, exhaled air contains carbon dioxide page number 110 uh, it is taken from to show that exhaled air contains carbon dioxide take a drinking straw and a test tip containing freshly prepared lime water place one end of the straw in the lime water and blow the exhaled air gently at the other end of the straw what do you observe lime water turns milky due to the presence of carbon dioxide in exhaled air now question number seven describe the changes that take place around the rib cage diaphragm chest cavity during inspiration take the state the effect of these changes changes that take place around the rib cage during inspiration is during inspiration the muscles around the rib cage contract lifting the rib cage upward and outward the changes in the effect in diaphragm during uh, inspiration is diaphragm contracts and becomes nearly flat sheet chest cavity during inspiration the chest cavity expands effect of these changes is air pressure inside the lungs falls below the pressure of the air outside the body this creates a partial vacuum and so the air from uh, this please stop student with here air from outside the body rushes into the lungs now value based question the value displayed by shweta is presence of mind courage positive attitude determination and question number two share your situation now question number three during uh, running shweta needed more energy but the supply of oxygen to produce energy was limited therefore anaerobic respiration took place in the muscle cells to fulfill the demand of the energy causing cramps in her legs thank you hope this will help you thank you